I work at Disney World, and two things happened while I was down there. I started to gain more confidence as an independent solo artist. Because prior to that, I'd been in groups. Me and my brother, you know, we thought we were boys to game growing up. So I'd come in with a verse. With that verse. So Disney was the first time I was on my own, you know, kind of discovering my voice and discovering things that actually inspired me as an artist. And um, I started to gain a passion for songwriting. And then the second thing that happened was I met the two guys that would eventually move me to California. Sean Fisher and Kareem Mills, they were local producers in Orlando. So I started working with them, and um, they started mentioning this, this name that I immediately recognized, Steven Seagal. Story gets weird. <laughs> so we started working with Steven Seagal because he wanted to transition from martial art and kicking people to artistry. He wanted to be an artist. And also, we were working for his movie soundtrack. So anyway, he started to take a liking to us and wanted us to do his album. And he kept encouraging us to get out of Orlando and move to the West Coast, because he thought it you know, would be better for us, as did we. But he said, um, you know, Phil, guys, <laughs> guys, you guys are really talented. This isn't Marlon Brando, I promise you. <laughs> yeah, that's not a lot of laughs. You guys are really talented. I think we should move out of here and come to the West Coast. And I was like, Steven, I agree. But we're broke. How are we going to do this? So ultimately, he started to like more of our work. He was the one that funded our move to California. So I remember thinking to myself, as we're loaded up in the hall, we're in this 96 city, driving across country, thinking to myself, what is this California? What's it gonna be? 